What's up, YouTube? Tubers Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video. So once again, it has been some time since I actually uploaded my last video right here on the channel, and I have to apologize for that. I just came home like two days ago. I came home from the United States of America. Me and my little brother, the guy who I actually created this channel with, has been over there for 14 days on a vacation, or you can call it not vacation, but you can call it like. It was, yeah, it was like vacation, but we were out doing a lot of stuff. We were driving around the country. Mostly, we were driving from LA to Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Lake Tahoe, through Yosemite, to San Francisco, and back again down at highway number one, all like out to the coast in like the western part of the US, and down to LA again. And then we flew home like 14 days later. So, we've done a lot of, a lot of cool things like in the 14 days and uh, if you have any question about the trip and stuff like that if you want some act some recommendation on like the trip if you're planning to go to the u.s or if you're already in the u.s and uh, stuff like that and want some advice you can go ahead and uh, post a comment down under this video and i will answer you also so yeah it's i can't say it's probably the most insane 14 days of my life it has been We've experienced so much and we met so many people and uh, yeah, we've just seen a lot of good things. Big cities, uh, beautiful nature, beautiful people, nice people. There's a lot of nice people in the US. Uh, driving along, we drove like 2,500 miles, which is the same as 4,000 kilometers. But whatever guys, if you have some questions about it, post a comment down under this video. Uh, since I've been gone, we have a lot of new mods in the game and there is some of the mods that is more anticipating than others and there is a lot of mods that we have been waiting for, or at least I have been waiting for. So I saw, if I go into this right here, I can go into the new mods in the mod hub right here and if I go into maps, you can see we got these and uh, especially we got the Volca Farms. I don't know when it came out, but it is some days ago, maybe weeks ago. Uh, but the Welker Farms, if you know that, it is also a real farm in the Montana. We were actually pretty close to Montana. We were in Salt Lake City, Utah. I think it is just beneath, uh, what can you say, like uh, Montana. And this right here is in the northern part of Montana, so we're not even that close to Montana at all, or close to this Welker Farms at all, since the northern Mo Montana was pretty pretty insane uh, yeah okay I'm <laughs> yeah I'm not that uh, we're not, we were not that close to Montana after all uh, because above uh, Utah Salt Lake City Utah we had Idaho uh, which is next to Montana and then we have Wyoming above Salt Lake City Utah also and then we have Montana I don't think that uh, or is Idaho a part of Montana Idaho is that Idaho is a state is that right you know yeah I don't know but uh, you can let me know in the comment section down under I think it is a state it is a state and Montana is a state they just have don't have like the straight lines as the other as the other like states does so yeah but we were pretty close or at least close to if you drove just a little bit higher but I gotta say, Salt Lake City, Utah, beautiful, beautiful nature down there. We saw the salt flats and stuff like that, Antelope Island, stuff like that, and uh, it's just insane. And uh, yeah, so we are definitely gonna go over there. But whatever, get back to the game, dude. Uh, Walker Farms is, of course, as I said, uh, right here, made by Mappers Paradise, which which is this modder or mod creator that does these cool and nice mods. Uh, the Walker Farms is located in the north central Montana and has been in the family since the homestead of 1912. Third generation owner, farmer Bob Walker, along with his two sons, Nick and Scott, strive to carry on the family farm legacy. Throughout our 10,000 acre farm, we grow spring wheat, winter wheat, yellow peas, and lentils. They operate three models of the legendary Big Bird tractors and take pride and joy restoring, urban and filming them. We own a Series 1 N14435, originally HN250, 
Series 2 KTA 525 or KT450 and Series 3 6 slash 50 or FA 525 slash 50. A new addition to the Big Butt family is the Big Boot, as you guys already know from the mods, a customized rear built to resemble a Series 3 Big Butt tractor. That's pretty cool. We hope to enjoy the farm, or we hope you enjoy the farm, and I think we actually will. So, we have it downloaded already, and we're ready to go ahead and start a brand new career mode on this new map. So that is, of course, what we're gonna go ahead and do. So, let's go ahead and take safe game mode 1, and new farmer, and let's actually take the map. Walker Farms, Character Me, John Deere Map, or Hat, these are all select all, and let's get into the game. So it is pretty cool and I think it's going to be pretty nice when we're going to get into the game right here. I really do. So it is loading right now and you can see we have the big butt 747 which is I think almost or still or anything like that. The world's biggest tractor and um, yeah. I think definitely it's pretty cool to see that it does these certain kind of things. So right now it is loading right here as you can see and that uh, that is also how we we want it to be of course because yeah we want to get it to the map of course but as it is in montana and generally like these farmer states over there in uh, the us and stuff uh, we have like big farming aerial things and stuff like that or big what can you say like farming moments and so on because um yeah we just it's just straight ahead. It's not like turning. You should not turn or anything because it's just straight ahead, as I just said. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool with uh, with all the different kind of things indeed. And that's of course something we pay attention to. And uh, yeah, we're ready to get into the game right here. So it's actually loading pretty well uh, right there. Okay. These are like all you can see the farm right here. We just have map, actually just fields. The, this map mainly contains of fields, and that is also how Montana is. But there is also some mountains in Montana, if I'm correct. If you go out to like the state to Idaho, I think there will be the mountain pass of uh, not Colorado. Uh, not quite sure on that, so I don't want to pay that much attention. But in the game right here, we start out with the 7, seven that's the plane in the game. The 7250 KSIH, which is a real American tractor. We have this right here, and we have ooh, New Holland skid steer. And uh, we have this right there, the KSIH 620 court track. We start out with a small massive Ferguson, two small massive Ferguson. The one, the same size actually, I think. Uh, yeah, it's the same size, so that's pretty cool. And uh, here we have the Lizard Warrior, a real cool looking American truck, as you can see. Uh, but we don't have any big butts in the game or in this right here, so um, yeah, that's just as it is sometimes. But uh, we are probably gonna go ahead and get the big butts in the game like later on or something like that. Right now it is just with these machines and that's pretty okay. I don't know what they want me to pull with this, like the Steiger maybe or the Quad Track maybe, but I don't know. Yeah. I think if I'm go gonna go to the garage, gonna s s delete all actually, uh, I think we will be able to go ahead and buy a Big Bird 747. Um, Let's go ahead and see if we're able to go ahead and do that. You also have a lot of these sheds and stuff like that. Ooh, let's go ahead and see if I have, I don't even know if I downloaded the big butt yet, but I think I did. Uh, I think I did. Yeah, it's right here, 747. I have 1.56 millions. We want it with triple wheels. That's the only kind of setup you can change on it. So here we do have it. Right there, the Big Bird 747 is finally home at the Welker Farms. As you can see right here, this is just huge. Can you please open? Would be great if you would open so I can get home, you know? Yeah, right there. Thank you. No, 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 no. 
right there. We kind of like go like this, and uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool with these uh, uh, these these tires and stuff like that. So we're pretty far away from our our farm actually, but I think we're gonna head up there right away. And I just love like the black smoke on this Big Bird 747. It just puts out the black smoke, which is indeed pretty cool. I uh, have to mention that it is really. Oh my gosh, I was a little bit uh, unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. You cannot even say that. <laughs> But now I'm going up there. Oh, all these crux. Cross or crux or whatever, whatever you want to call them. I call them crux. Actually, I don't know why I do that, but um, yeah. That's just how it is sometimes. So I think it is actually this way right here. And since there is nothing on this uh, field, we can just go like straight over it. And that is, of course, what we're going to go ahead and do. So, yeah, just running straight over the field right here, which is, uh, for me, pretty cool, I guess. I'm basically just heading home to, yeah, what can you say, like like the farm right here because I want to pick good looking picture of the Big Bird 747 standing right in front of the farm and uh surely hope that you guys uh, yeah we can say like pay attention to that and actually like that a lot of course so yeah right here I don't think there's that much to say about the farm it is basically looking like a farm that you actually move around with but I don't know if that's the uh, that's the case, I don't know actually, but um Yeah it just looks like that, so it's not a bad thing at all, but right there. So this is like if you have been watching me for a long time, this is like usually what I do with like new new maps and stuff like that. Right there, that's gonna be, be the picture. So I think it is actually time for us to go ahead and end this episode before it actually get like too long and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I just want to say once again thanks for watching to everybody out there on YouTube. And thanks for being a part of the YouTubers Gaming HD. Uh, if you're not yet a part of this, you can go ahead and leave a comment down under. And make sure to subscribe to the channel of course by hitting the, th the red button on this video. Also hit the like button as I said, thumbs up, and we're going to see you guys in the next one as always. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming through. Bye guys, bye.